Marvin Kandarvis. I'm running for city council in District 8. North Charleston is home for me. This is my roots. I've seen a lot of the things that have happened here in this city, and they've all touched me because I've lived it, I've experienced it. And I think in city council, that's what you need is someone who's rooted in the community, someone who knows the people, someone who knows the issues, someone who cares about what's going on. And that's what I offer to the table. I grew up in Charleston Farms, did my education here in North Charleston. And then I went on to the University of South Carolina where I finished up my undergraduate degree in 2011 and then obtained a law degree there in 2014. When I look at city council and I look at what makes it effective and what makes the most effective city councilmen, you have to be responsive to the people. Uh, you look at city council and people rely on you for their issues, people come to you with questions, people come to you with concerns on a daily basis and you have to be able to navigate that in an effective way. As an attorney, I have skills that I believe are transferable when you're talking about being able to work with people, the ability to reason, the, the ability to think critically, the ability to think on your feet. And so those are things that I've been able to do well through my training in law school, through my practice as an attorney over the last year. And I believe that those are transfers very smoothly on the city council. My biggest thing is making sure that I'm there for the people, making sure that I'm always answering emails, always answering calls, and making myself available as much as I can so that the people know that they have a city councilman who cares about them, who cares about their every need and concern, and is willing to go that extra mile to make sure that their voice is heard and that I'm actively acting on their behalf to do what they need in their communities and see the change that they want to see, and obviously the change that they elected me to do. When I was in law school, public service was always something that intrigued me. Um, I followed politics closely even when I was a child. And getting back to North Charleston, I saw um, there were a number of things going on here. I always followed North Charleston politics, obviously with me being from here, my family still living here very closely. And I saw that it needed a change. I felt like North Charleston needed an infusion, an infusion of youth. A lot of times when you're in office for some time, you can become entrenched. And I believe that I offer a new face for the generation of North Charleston going forward. And a lot of times, um, you can't be deterred by your youth. When people believe in you, um, believe that you can do a capable job. When you have a plan, you articulate yourself well. And those are the things that I believe I bring to the table. District 8 is a pretty big district. Uh, district 8 encompasses neighborhoods, all the neighborhoods surrounding Park Circle, which is a new and growing area. Uh, Charleston Farms, as I mentioned earlier, the neighborhood where I grew up at, Remount Road and North Red, and then also sections of Liberty Hill. Okay, this is a very diverse area. I believe that we got to create a level playing field. Some of the things that stick out to me is making sure that we create opportunity within the district so that each of the neighborhoods within the district are able to have the access and the resources to, in order to sustain themselves. We have to make sure that we're investing in the people. We have to make sure that we're showing the people that we care about your neighborhood, we care about what's going on here, and as a city, we're gonna take a vested interest in making sure that we create something here in order for you to be able to sustain yourself. We wanna make sure that we create something here in order for you to take advantage of, because I believe that if all of our neighborhoods work together, if all our neighborhoods work well, then we work well as a city, and that's what the people need. And as I look at District 8, that's something that it's been lacking, and I wanna make sure that that I continue to, to build upon. An engaged community is vital to creating a world-class city like we want to do in North Charleston. And so we have to make sure we're doing a good job of making sure people are aware of what the city offers. Um, but then at the same time, we have to make sure that we're making it available for the people so that they're able to take advantage of. And so it's making sure that that relationship between the city and the community, the community and the city is one that's going to benefit both parties and that we're both aware of what's going on in the city. We have a unique opportunity here in North Charleston. This has been a trying year. There are a number of events that have happened from, that, from this whole Tri-County area. When you look at Walter Scott, then you look at the Emanuel Nine, and just everything that has happened in the wake of all those events, it's really galvanized the people, giving the people a renewed energy and saying that we want to see a city that's really going forward. And so this is an important time. We got to make sure that the citizens are aware 
that they have a unique power and that's a power to create change in the city. When citizens are upset with what's going on, when they get tired of the administration, when they want to see change, they don't complain, they don't sit idly. What they do is they vote with their ballots. They use their voices as in the ballot box to effectuate the change that they want to see. And so here in North Charleston this year, we have a great opportunity in order to do that. We've had a current administration that's been in place for some time and we have 29 people running for the 10 district slots that are that are currently available and that's a record number of people here in the city of North Charleston. So what that tells me is that people are engaged, people are excited, and people want to see change in North Charleston. But we have to do it. This is one of those opportunities that isn't going to come often, that isn't going to come anytime soon. This is the opportunity to get out here and create change on the local level because the local level is where the most change can be made.